how do I go about generating a plan? Well, there are a ton of tools available to you uh, that show you the plan, um, whether you want to use SQL Developer, you're using TK Prof, you're using SQL Monitor Reports or Autotrace, whatever tool it is, underneath the covers, there's really only two ways to generate those plans. You can either use the explain plan command or you can look in the VDollar SQL plan, which was introduced in Oracle 9i, that shows you the actual plan that's inside the cursor cache inside the shared pool for that SQL statement. Now, you wanna be careful, although explain plan is super useful because you don't actually have to execute the SQL statement in order to see the plan, there are certain occasions, especially if you're using bind variables, where what you see with explain plan is not actually the plan that will be used when that SQL statement is executed. The reason for that is the explain plan command is not bind aware, so it doesn't peek at those bind values, which is why it doesn't sh potentially show you the plan that you'll get um, if you were to go and execute that. So typically, if I'm debugging a situation, especially if I, somebody's reported a performance problem, I'm going to use VDollar SQL plan as the way to uh, look at those. So let's take a look at both approaches, though. Because if I'm in a data warehouse where I'm not necessarily using as many um, bind variables, perhaps I'm using literal values because, as I said, it is a warehouse. These are queries that are, aren't run that frequently. Then explain plan will be just fine. So here's a quick example of how I do it. I'd say explain plan four, give the SQL statement. And then once that says it's been explained, then I want to retrieve the plan. And I do that by taking advantage of a built-in package inside the Oracle database called DBMS XPlan. And there's a function in there called display, and it's going to take three arguments. The first argument is the plan table name. You should just let that default. I never, it's plan table is the default name, but I don't even bother supplying it. If you leave it blank, um, it will find your user's default plan table. The statement ID, again, you can leave it blank. There's no need to pass that in. And the last parameter, the most powerful one, is the format. And I'll spend a lot more detail in just a moment explaining that format parameter. But just know that that's the third argument. If, on the other hand, I'm actually looking to see what was the actual execution plan for this SQL statement as it was executed, i.e. it's still in the shared pool and I want to see that plan, then I want to take advantage of the same package, DBMS X plan, but this time I'm going to do display cursor. Now, if I leave the first two arguments null, as I have in this example, what that's going to do is it'll show me the execution plan for the SQL statement that was previously executed within this session. So oftentimes I'll execute the query and then immediately after that, I'll run the command you see on the screen there where I call DBMS X plan display cursor. So you'll notice it's a different function. I leave the first two arguments blank, which means I want you to see, show me the plan for the previously executed SQL statement. But if you don't wanna do that, if you don't wanna execute the SQL statement because you know it's already been executed by somebody else, you're gonna need two additional pieces of information to show the plan. You'll need the SQL ID, which we can grab from VDollar SQL, and the child number. By default, it always ch shows you child zero uh, for that plan. So you are going to need to supply that child number. And again, the third uh, parameter there is format. Now, the format, as I said, is going to be incredibly useful. You'll see me do lots of different tricks with that parameter in order to show additional information as we go through the presentation. And I'm going to share that with you as we go so you too can understand how powerful that format parameter is. We also have a very detailed blog about that format parameter on the Optimizer blog. Super easy to remember, blogs.oracle.com slash optimizer. Once you go there, there is a huge raft of information about the Oracle Optimizer, including details about how to display that plan.